March, we are able to present our electoral candidates to the people so that on that day they will come out victorious. So has the decision been taken on the zoning? Uh, it's a family affair. This is not the right time to talk about zoning. All we need now is to consolidate on our victory. We have won the presidential and we should be able to at least take a minimum of 30 states. Some rights activists also said that um, the national chairman be removed. Is that something you support? I'm not aware of that. It wasn't discussed in any way? I'm not aware of that. Nothing like that has been discussed. So when are you going to discuss the outcome of this meeting to the president? After the gubernatorial election, we are going to gather again and by then we take stock of what we have achieved. And then from there, the zoning system, uh, the zoning uh, formula that the party wants to adopt will be given out. And uh, the party appeals that all members, just like what used to happen before now, democracy is all about party supremacy. And we believe that whatever the party decided is what we are going to do. Uh, essentially, we said we should do a post-mortem of our performance and also go back home to ensure that we take the victory to the end. Nigerians have spoken, elected or decided to elect APC, and uh, we have some ups and downs as usual in every electoral process. So that is essentially, and uh, the party has expected also um, appeal to the members of the National Assembly elect to play down the leadership uh, issues and um, concentrate more in ensuring that we take the, the, the election battle to the end, and that is to ensure that we win our states. And that is exactly what we are, we are, we are doing. So the party has already uh, uh, strengthened us and agreed that we, these interactions like this should be frequent so that we will be going in the same direction instead of having issues and bad experiences like the 2015 2019 to some extent. So the issue of zoning did not come up? No, no, not yet. The is it issue... because the president-elect is not here? No, 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 not at all. The president-elect is a parliamentarian. He has more experience than most of us. And coincidentally, and, um, you know, what does his things in the world? This, the Nigerian government now is going to be the National Assembly government. The uh, president is, uh, was a senator. The vice president was a senator. Um, the party chairman was a senator. The national party chairman, the secretary of the party, was a senator. So I believe that this time around we are going to have a rancorous, uh, I mean, uh, a rancorous, uh, rancor free relationship. So now that the leadership issues have been placed aside temporarily before the elections are getting through them, will this issue be revisited in the national government? Well, I don't know. But, you know, um, I'm expecting. Yeah, yeah, you are asking me this question because I'm mean, one of the veterans. That, but what I'm saying is, and it still remains, is that the members of the National Assembly should produce their leadership based on who they think is the best, and also considering uh, the issues at stake and putting in place or ahead. Justice, fairness, equity. You know, the main concern is that the president is like saying he has no candidate, he's not going to back anybody. The main concern is that we are heading back to 2015 when the no, 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 I don't, take over the leadership of the national assembly. No, no, I don't think so. I think the president, at the, at the appropriate time, uh, take a decision. That is what he is saying or advise as appropriate, and that is the best thing to do. Victory to assure members that. Um, uh, um, in spite of all the odds against the party, uh, um, we were able to overcome and to congratulate everybody. And that's always the first step. Uh, on the issue of zoning that you mentioned, yes, we didn't talk about we, it's, we're not there yet. We will have another election coming up on, coming up this weekend, and uh, we needed to make sure that everybody goes back home, um, roll up your sleeves, you know, get your hands dirty. Uh, that it's not uh, it's not right yet. We're not there yet, and we need to, 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 to complete the victory and our joy, so to speak, on Saturday. And then we can start talking about leadership of the National Assembly. And 
And that's basically what it was about. Was it because the president-elect is not here? That what? That the issue of zoning did not come up. No, 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 no. If the president elect was here, there would not, there would not have been any difference. The question of our zoning was that let's, you know, tarry a while, let's leave everything for now um, until we finish our, 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 our finish the elections. Some are saying that the, the because some are saying that the party chairman and his secretary should be relieved of their duties at the moment. Was that discussed in the Not at all. Not at all. But well, you did hear about it. I didn't hear about it. I read about it. And it's not everything you read that you believe. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on there. I don't think um, I don't think we have that. Uh, uh, we read things. We read all sorts of things in the papers, um, but, but it's not for sure. What wasn't discussed here, I cannot comment on. Well, you, you, your name has come up for chief of staff. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Uh, the meeting essentially is uh, first to uh, you know appreciate God for giving us victory in spite of all odds, and uh, two for us to know ourselves and to remind ourselves that very serious and great tax uh, before uh, the people of this country uh, because they, they, they have entrusted us in spite of all the difficulties uh, with this uh, 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 next administration. So we have set the agenda and the agenda is all about the people of this country. So what did the president elect tell youth senators through uh, the device. Exactly what I've just told you. It's all about the country and the country and the country. And it's time for you know leaders of this country to make sacrifices. It's time that uh, we must have to shave a number of things, uh, you know, so as to unite the country and then push up the economy. This is very, very important. There are reports as well that this meeting was conveyed uh, to wade off what happened during the 8th Senate, not what happened in the 10th Senate. It's too early to start talking about that. Uh, because leadership must have to match. Uh, of course, first of all, you know, election must be concluded. Election not yet concluded, about uh, eight Senate seats are still remaining, and about 30 House of Rep seats are still remaining. So when that is done, then, you know, the party uh, that is in power and the majority in the two chambers will now come up and take the decision. And then from there, uh, you know, we work out, you know, a relationship. Finally, what should people of your constituents do? Well, the first and foremost is that you expect us to work for the unity of the country. It's when we have, uh, you know, Nigeria before we start expecting a dividends or democracy. But like I told my people at Fabon State, I'm not just going to represent, you know, my constituency at Bonny South, but the entire, you know, uh, um, you know, Bonny State, South East, and of course the entire Nigeria. We must have to work very well to, you know, take back our country. You know, and then of course uh, 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 for the future of our children. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.